let's play some Donkey Kong Country. I haven't played this game since I was a kid, so this should be fun. I feel like this has to be one of the best starts to a song, like just how it, it kind of starts off subtle and then it just kicks in. Oh, man, the soundtrack is so good. So I mean, to 100% this, you gotta get all the bonus stages, so we'll see how we go. I don't know how serious I'm gonna get about it. Yes, I'm sure this is like bringing all sorts of nostalgia to people. It is to me. I mean, how could you not be in a good mood after hearing these sounds? So see, my experience with Donkey Kong is mainly with 3, but I did play this one. It's just, I keep thinking you can do the piggyback thing, but it's, it's just trade places and nothing else. Uh, am I in Melbourne? Yeah, Melbourne based chat member. Uh, if I go bro, I haven't felt anything where I am. <laughs> Even if there was something. An Australian earthquake is, is nothing. Oh crap, no, I need the jeep! <laughs> I'm getting Kong at least. My inner child will scream at me if I don't do it. Oh crap. Well, first step. From what I saw the GBA version, this stage in particular just looks insanely bright in terms of colors. I couldn't believe it, but that was because the GBA just didn't have a backlight for some reason. And so they would oversaturate games just to uh, compensate for the lack of brightness. Fuck. <laughs> hmm, this is not going as well as I thought it would. Okay, in this game in particular, chat, which of the two would you rather use? Diddy or Donkey? For some reason, I just never liked Diddy. I'm not sure why. Hang on. Swap, please. There we go. DK? Yeah. I mean, sometimes you have to use them just to have the extra speed to be able to get up to places. How did I get up there before? I got up there before! There we go. Jeez. Things you gotta do. Okay, there's the tire. Nah. There's gotta be like a platforming thing for sure. Oh, it's just Diddy. Alright. Inner child is content. Let's go see pain in the ass, Kong. Funky can send you anywhere you've been already on the island in a flash. I'd ask you to join in, but they didn't have any memory left to display the cabin interior. Oh, programmer joke. That's funny. Self-deprecating developer joke. But then after Dixie is in every game, I just resort to Dixie every time. I refer to her as Deluxe Kong. Shit. I should probably stop making jokes and focus. <laughs> I should let the music play a bit longer. I don't know. I'm just rushing through it and not enjoying it. Next time I enter a bonus room, I'm letting it play for a while. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna eat some nuggets while this plays. Shut up, Donkey Kong! I wanna hear the music! Man, he just does not... has no chill. You know what the funniest change for me was... for uh, Donkey Kong? Going from Donkey Kong 1 to Donkey Kong 3. The sound the... the Kremlins make. So here it's like a little... a little subtle... In Donkey Kong Country 3, when you... when you kill a Kremlin, it's like... Uh, uh. It made me laugh so much the first time I heard it. Ah, best... One of the best video game tracks of all time. Just soak this in. Makes me not mind the fact that it's a water stage. Ooh. Ah! On guard, no! Wait, he's, right, he's, he's still here. Oh, this is awkward. I have so many good memories playing DKC. Yeah. I mean, I didn't play this one this much. I did get to play it a bit. 
Because we didn't, the only one we owned was three, so that's where the majority of my memories come from, but... I did play this one quite a bit at a friend's house. But good memories. I mean, the graphics for the time. Yeah, iframe, iframe. <laughs> what now? I mean, the graphics for the time. Like, I know they're pre-rendered, but still, like, it was so cool. Hey, my dudes. It's Funky Kong. I just wanted to hear the music. You've played each easily over 500 hours. Jeez, yeah, that's a large part of childhood. I mean, wouldn't be surprised if I played three about that much. Oh, shit. I was getting a nugget. <laughs> I was gonna... <laughs> chat. <laughs> right there, I swapped to Diddy so Diddy would take the hit. So he would be the sacrificial lamb and I wouldn't lose uh, Donkey Kong. Maybe I do need Diddy. Just to get the extra height. There we go. Does this... Hmm. Well, that fucked me in the ass, didn't it? Follow the bananas! Yes, follow the bananas. They lead you to secrets. Secrets. Okay, so that's why there's bananas there. <laughs> that's why there's bananas there. Okay. okay. Let me do what I did last time. Yes. Good work. Do I play with an original SNES controller? This is playing on a SNES itself. Like, I'm playing a cartridge here. This isn't emulation or anything. Shit! <laughs> I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. What is this? Like, it's gonna shoot me across, but I can't see. There's no scroll. Is this honestly just... No, fair. I'm just pressing the button too f soon, like an idiot. Huh. Okay, just be patient. Good. Ah, oh, man, these parts are so stressful. I'm not a speedrunner by any means. You're not gonna see any magical stuff. This is as casual as, as it can possibly get. Oh shit! No! <laughs> I missed! Dude. Why? Alright, so apparently there was an earthquake in where I live. <laughs> when did it happen? It happened like about an hour ago, but I didn't I didn't feel it. It was like short. Unless I just wasn't paying attention. Jeez. What was happening at 11.30? Like an hour ago-ish. I guess we were doing... That's fucking hysterical. I was focusing on my, my chicken nuggets, and so did not notice the earthquake. <laughs> I was like, fuck yeah, chicken nuggets. Did not notice earthquake. Assuming where I am, you could feel it. I don't know. I haven't looked into it any further. But that would explain why people were just coming into the chat and were like, are you from Melbourne? It's just... It's one of the chat member tropes, is just the news spreader. Just someone that breaks news to, uh... ...to channels. Oh, this was so cool as well. This theme is so good, too. Yeah! 
I think this was my favorite one just because of the fly aspect of it. I mean, come on, an ostrich with sneakers? Who wouldn't like that? <laughs> Thought it was an emu. Haha. <laughs> I mean, isn't that? I thought it was an emu. Yes, let's ask Will about emus, the the expert, the resident expert on emus. I used to have problems with the stage as a kid. We'll see how I go. Yep. <laughs> Still gets me. There's there's the memory. There's the memory right there. I knew that- I knew that that was coming at some point. I just did not react. Yeah, no, I'm good. Ah! <sighs> okay. I'm not gonna let that happen again. Dude. Got the greedy bananas! Ah! <laughs> Shit! Uh... Okay, it's, it's okay, checkpoint. Checkpoint, it's fine. I'm okay. I finished my dino nuggets, we're not gonna lie, I kinda want more, but I'm not going to. I put a little bit of peanut oil in it. And then just salted them with chicken salt, and they were damn good. So they're cooked with a little bit of peanut oil. Not a lot. In the air fryer! <laughs> well, the chicken nuggets, you can't go wrong, but I don't think, like, I, I'm sure I could get chicken nuggets from that same brand. They're just not dino nuggets. And they would be equally good. I don't think just because they're shaped like dinosaurs! <laughs> Fuck's sake. What is chicken salt? Oh, right, yeah, you don't have chicken- Chicken salt is an Australian thing, um... When you get fish and chips, which, you know, fish and fries, I guess. Um, they usually put that on the fries. But you can get them at other places, but it's this yellow salt. It's like a mix of stuff. It almost looks like, uh... Like a bouy- or the bouillon cube or whatever it is, you know? But not really, it's not that. You can find it. You can definitely find it because I've I've recommended chicken salt to American friends, and you can find it on Amazon. But you just put it on fries, and it's delicious. Can recommend. It's also good on popcorn. It's artificial chicken flavoring. <laughs> That's basically it. But people put them on chicken nuggets, fries, popcorn. That's. The most common uses here. Fuck! God! Ah! Definitely try it. It it's worth it. Like it's it's not like uh, somehow we extract salt from a chicken. That's not it at all. Or like crush the bones of chicken to form salt. <laughs> it's artificial flavoring, pretty much. Oh, the stage is so so stressful. I just love how it throws you out of the carriage! <laughs> it throws you out of the carriage. Like, you you keep going, the carriage stops. Or maybe it's me because I'm holding the forward button, just thinking that it helps. It's a coping mechanism, even though it doesn't do anything. I think you just jump and that's it. It's a coping mechanism. I feel like it helps. And sometimes it's about that placebo effect, chat. Oh my god, why is this so horrible? I was there, I just wanted to jump. I'm sad that no one else made chicken nuggets when I made chicken nuggets. I ate them on my- oh, right! Fuck. oh, come on! 
Oh, I'm gonna focus now. I, I can't let the stage be like a third of the stream. That's not gonna happen. Oh! <laughs> I thought I was done. Oh, man. Okay. This is the one. Okay, even if I get hit... Dude, that is such a dick move. <laughs> it's done!